Hey guys, I had a comment from somebody on a, one of my knife reviews, and uh, he was asking uh, which was better, tip up or tip down carry, and why. And so I thought I'd do a quick review here, kind of showing. I'm going to do it in two parts. For, I'm going to do this first part addressing tip up and tip down carry, and then I'll and then I'll uh, dovetail it into another clip about uh, the actual clip design itself. And I don't know, I may do other um, videos like this on kind of the anatomy of the knife. I may not, I don't know. So, um, let's start with tip down carry. Tip down carry is good if you have a very weak detent on your blade, meaning that it doesn't retain in the handle very well, and so you're afraid that if you had tip up and it was right in your pocket like this, that if it opened, you could slice your hand on it. Tip down carry, if it opens, you're not going to slice your hand on it. So that's the advantage of tip down carry. However, it's in your pocket like this. You draw it out. You draw it out like that. And now you have to rotate it in your hand to be able to, to deploy it. So, and then once you close it, you have to rotate it again to be able to put it back in. So it just takes a little bit longer, a little bit more dexterity in your hands maybe. Uh, maybe if you're in really cold environments and, I mean, you have gloves on and you don't have a lot of dexterity to be able to pivot that knife in your hand, rotate it around, stuff like that, uh, you may not want tip down carry, which is where tip up carry comes in. Tip up carry, you have it in there like that, you reach in, you pull it out, and it's ready to go. You don't have to rotate it in your hand or any. I mean, you're... It's right there. And once you close it, you can just put it away. So that's why I prefer tip up carry, is that it's just a little bit faster. And also in a high stress environment, like defensive, or if you're a soldier, or um, I don't know, for whatever reason, you just need to get your knife out fast. Just convenience, even. You don't want to spend a lot of time messing around with your knife. It's kind of better to have tip up carry. Now, really, the ideal would be to have something like the Spyderco Delica, where you can choose all four points of the knife, and you can put it wherever you want, so you can make your own decision, and the manufacturer doesn't make the decision for you. But, for my money, I'll generally take tip-up carry. So, I hope that helped you guys make decisions about what you want to buy. And um, that's the end of part one. I'll start part two and dovetail. Okay, it. guys, I'm doing the second part of my knife clip review. And uh, gosh, I mean, this is like the fifth time I'm shooting this second part. I think the first time it took like 15 minutes, then 12, then 10. I think last time I got like 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm going to try to fly through this. I'm going to try to get it done. And um, I want to get under like, I don't know, 6 minutes or something. So let's go. I want to move. So, getting into the best types of clips that I've found are the type that start from the top, such as the SOGS or the type on the Buck Vantage. This is not one of them. And um, if you can get those, those are the best ones. The second best I've found are these um, kind that are the loop clip. Um, it mounts there, it loops up, comes back down. Uh, second best. Now I'm talking about function here, I'm not talking about price, because different clips cost the manufacturer different amounts of money to make. And that's something that you have to understand, is that they're, when they're designing a knife, there's the function cost, uh, the function considerations, and there's the price of manufacturing considerations. And if it costs too much, no matter what it is, people aren't going to buy it. So they have to cut some corners in some things, and unfortunately sometimes it's the clip. So you have to recognize that. So this is probably the second best. Um, third best, and probably the most popular one that I've seen, is this style. The kind on the Delica, where they mount it up here, and then it comes down. And you can probably see it better on maybe the Manix too. And so you see what I'm talking about. They mount it here, comes back down. It's not a loop. It's not like they mount it here, it loops up and comes back down. It just comes down. So this rides higher in the pocket. And... Um, Try to give a very quick, very brief comparison. So there you go, and then here's the loop. So there you see, it's it rides higher. However, for strength and retention in the pocket, it's still excellent. I I don't have problems with these. So for functionality, 
it's fine. Um, I, I I carry lots of knives with with this design. And getting back to cost, this costs less to manufacture because they can just stamp this out on a big machine and make lots and lots of them very quickly. Uh, this loop design takes more time because they have to individually bend each clip. They have to stamp it out and bend it, so twice the time at least making this, which means twice the cost. Um, and, okay, getting into do I like solid or wire? Uh, general rule is I prefer wire on smaller, more dress type knives and on more EDC knives like utility ni utility type knives, tactical type. Um, most stuff I prefer solid, but the smaller dress or more dress knives, I prefer the wire. Um, wire functions fine. It's just I, I prefer the solid for durability. Um, as far as colorations on on clips go, um, I don't know. I may surprise people on this. I don't know. I prefer matte silver first because I mostly wear jeans and khakis, khaki shorts or cargo pants, and I found that this color blends the best uh, a matte silver second best is blackened and the reason that I like silver the matte silver before the blackened is that um, blackened shows wear more on it as you can see scratch marks and stuff and the blackened shows a little bit more on these um, on blue pants and khaki pants third best and kind of last place is shiny silver um, and as you can see I'm kind of going in order of what's the loudest most most noticeable colorations so those are my that's kind of my order and I, I still love this Manix too um, but I would have put a matte silver clip on there and a loop clip if I had the choice um, Placement on, on the knife, uh, you just saw my tip up versus tip down carry, I obviously prefer tip up, and I obviously prefer four corners, I want to be able to choose where I put my clip, I mean, who doesn't? Um, okay, I'm at 437, I gotta hurry. So, um, I don't think I left anything out there, oh, polymer clips, molded on clips. Um, they're fine, and if the knife design around it is really good, then great. However, they're not removable. You can't switch it left to right or change the tip. You're stuck. And if it breaks, um, you can't replace it. So there are some downfalls of molded clips. Um, uh, attachment methods, I prefer um, to use an Allen wrench, you know, he the hexagonal uh, mounting method. Then I prefer torque. Well, then, actually, I may I think I prefer Phillips heads because that's the most standard, I think. Then hexagonal, then Torx. Just because I think that this is the most standard thing that you can find anywhere. Um, you don't have to be a knife guy to have a Phillips head. You kind of do to have a mini Torx bit. That's kind of a more specialized tool. Okay, um... So, I uh, hope that helps, guys. Um, hope I didn't leave anything out. I don't think I did. Um, it's a pretty broad topic to cover in under six minutes or whatever. So, see you guys.